100 years ago, the automobile business was just beginning to take off as Americans were seeing the advantages of a horseless carriage. Entrepreneurs were literally building companies in their garages. Dozens of brands like Studebaker, Hudson, Packard, and Pierce Arrow were all successful in the early 1900s. Chevrolet was founded at that time by race car driver Louis Chevrolet and General Motors founder William Durant. In 1911, Louis Chevrolet and William Durant got together and brought Louis' passion for driving and racing and the energy of a car business with Mr. Durant's money and know-how and business acumen. And between the two of them, they created a force that can't be stopped. Building great cars at this time was not enough to ensure success, however. A brand's survival was dependent on the dealers who sold the vehicles. Like Furman Motors in Tampa, Florida, one of the oldest in the country. An original Oldsmobile and Cadillac dealer, the Furmans have also been selling Chevys for over 90 years and take an old-fashioned approach to doing business. You got to be careful and respectful of your clients or they won't bring you business. You got to be careful and respectful with your employees or they won't take good care of your clients. So for over a hundred years this company has strongly embraced that you've got to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Thank you very much. Sounds like a recipe for another hundred years of success. I'm Chris Hansen.